Here he comes, he's coming. Here he comes, oh here he comes. Here he comes, he's coming. Hello everyone, it's Al Rivers. Today we're going to do some cooking in the kitchen. I'm going to teach you guys how to make my special breakfast sandwich. It's a very common sandwich, but I've named them. It's the Wham Bam Alama and the Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am. And then we also have a Wham Bam Alama Hot Damn. So I'm going to go through all of that with you. And I have all my ingredients and stuff here. And we'll be talking about a few things as we go along. Before I get started, I'm going to wash my hands because you don't want to start cooking somebody's food and your finger dirty and your fingernails is dirty. None of that. You don't want all that. So, And this is a good meal too. Well, when you have, you know, a bunch of people here, which I had some folks over from last night. Woo! And I'm trying to get myself and recover from last night. <laughs> but uh, it'll be a good sandwich to make when people are on the run. It's a breakfast sandwich. It'll be a good sandwich to make when people got to get out fast or you're moving with the kids or anything like that. So the sandwich is basically uh, a bacon egg sandwich or a bacon egg and cheese sandwich or bacon egg cheese and a bunch of other stuff whatever's your desire but first I'm gonna wash my hands clean them up real good I already got my little griddle there washed down and uh, washed down this pre-temperature is warm and I'm gonna use some bacon a lot of you will probably use some uh, some pecan some bacon I call it pecan. You can use whatever kind of bacon you like, uh, pork bacon, beef bacon, butter bacon, banana bacon, whatever, turkey bacon, whatever your bacon is, your pecan. I have a whole, we love bacon here, I got a whole slab, I won't tell you where I got that from, well it's not a slab, but a whole tray here. I had a whole box of eggs here, um, there's a fly in here, we don't do that while we're cooking. Get a fly swatter. And when you see him, kill him. I don't want that going on. We still rolling. We ain't going to stop. This is natural. It's imperfect. We're going to keep it that way. But kill that fly. We don't do that in the kitchen. We don't do that. Okay, so back to this. You got, I, you got my pecan. This is pork bacon that I'm using today. That's pork bacon. Got some eggs. We got some cheese. Some salt and pepper. And we do have butter. Okay? But we're going to get back to this butter. I'm going to keep this stuff covered because we got that little fly going around in here and I don't want them all over my stuff. So the first thing we're going to cook is the pecan, the bacon pecan. And since I don't like to touch things too much, I'm going to start it off like this. Um, turn this up a little bit. I want to cook a little fast so I'm going to set it on about. Good morning. That's how my Aunt Myra do it. My Aunt Myra, she says good morning, whether it's nighttime, daytime, when she pick up the phone, she says good morning. Or when she hang up the phone, it's not goodbye. It's good morning. <laughs> We're going to place some uh, napkins down in the bowl to catch that grease because this pecan is done. Thank you, darling. That's not disgusting. So it depends on how you like your bacon. I, I kind of like mine. I don't really like a major crunch on it. But you know, some people like their bacon crispy. I don't like mine crispy, but we're gonna let this bacon soak up on that grease. But I do like my food a little bit burnt, especially off the grill. I wanna taste that burntness up there. So what I'm gonna do now is take my other spatula. Sometimes these griddles could be there, but I'm just gonna Drain that grease down here. Take it. Some of you might say, oh, you're not supposed to use metal on that because it's a non-stick top. But I really don't care. Good morning, darling. How are you? Why are you cooking in all this stuff? Watching glasses? Go, 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 the robe and stuff? Because I'm Al Rivers. That's why. And I do what I want to do. Oh, oh, okay. Where are you going this morning, Precious? They're going to take me to take my yoga class. I'm going to do that? Yeah. 
You ready for your recipe? Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to put some. Now, this is butter. I'm going to put this butter on here. I love cholesterol. Not that it's good for you, but in this life, we're always doing something that ain't good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to uh, crack my egg open. I'm going to get ready. We're going to put an egg there. We're going to gonna get two eggs ready. Throw them right on. You want to help me, little man? No, you can't help me. You probably didn't even wash your little hands. So your eggs, so we're going to do these eggs, uh, I believe call them over hard. I'm going to put a little pepper up there because uh, I do salt and pepper with that, with that butter. Get all that flavoring up in there. You know, I bust the yolk on mine too. Some of you guys may not want to do that. Now here come the other part where we're going to use more butter. We're going to use more butter. If I could get it out of this little thing, the jig. You're gonna put that butter there. And this is where we pull our bread out. And you're gonna take that butter and lay this bread right on that butter. Let that be like that. You're gonna take this bread. We, we really cooking up something here today. Lay that bread right in that butter. Right in that butter. We're gonna get some more butter and put over here because we don't want none of the bread left out from the cholesterol. Now I'm not trying to clog y'all up. I'm just trying to give you a real good taste and get this butter all over there. And you want this to stay up there. You want that to stay up there a good amount of time. So it could kind of not get real hard, but you know, a little bit of this crisp on it. Your hands are washed? Okay, son. All right, that's great. Now listen, you good. You stay right there. And we're gonna let this stuff just sit and simmer on this thing here. I know some of y'all freaking out over that butter, but hey, butter is good for you. Huh? <laughs> this is orange juice. It's not communion. I had that last night. <laughs> Diluted orange juice. And uh, while we're waiting for that to done, get done, I'm kind of a uh, clean cook. I make a mess, but I kind of like to clean up as I go. And we'll use a bowl from over here to put my little stuff in. My little dirty eggs, stuff that I don't use. And so, this is a good little snack. And we're going to wait for this egg to get a little bit more easy and ready to flip. Make sure it's ready. Yeah, loosen it up because sometimes it say non-stick, but it sticks. And this is your... Yeah, these are almost ready. I'm going to let them fry a little bit more on that side. And I only do salt and pepper on one side. I don't season both sides of this egg. And you know that yolk had to go. Because I don't want no, what do they call that egg with the, uh, that like sunny side up with the, with the yolk is still on it. Yeah, okay. All right. I think this is ready. Turn her over. Turn him over. All right. And we're going to let them fry down real good. See how, the, see how that's getting toasty right there? Let's see how one of them look. Just on that side. Oh, look at that. Looks almost like a French toast. You see that? Wow. Look at that cholesterol. How I spread it all over there. Ooh. That'll get you right. Cholesterol diabetes. And it's good to cook when you don't feel like cooking a whole lot of um, pancakes and waffles and all that stuff. It's real simple. Real simple. Real simple to cook. And it's easy. Uh, now. The first sandwich I'm going to put together for you right quick is the Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am. The Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am is just consists of a piece of toast, well not toast, it's bread. We'll put that down there, okay? And we'll take the egg. Okay, wait a minute. All right, you want to help me. You want to help me. Just hold this bowl right here. That's how you can help me. Put that pacifier down. You're like 35 years old with a pacifier. Put that egg on there. Okay, then you're going to get your other piece of bread here. Sit it on the side. Matter of fact, let's just wait. We're going to take the bacon. We're going to take that bacon. Because we only marinate in one side of the bread. We're going to put that bacon up there. 
I usually put about three strips, but it depends on how many people you have over. Because, you know, you could be a little short on bacon. And you take that and put that right there. Okay, and while this other stuff simmering down, we got to pick out a knife. Uh, no, I think, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's use this one. We're going to cut this. And I like all my sandwiches cut in the diagonal. Cut. Cut that right down the middle. <laughs> now that's the wham, bam, thank you ma'am. Right there. We'll spread that apart so you can see how the middle is right there. See how that is in there? That's real good. Now we're getting ready to do the wham, bam, thank you ma'am. Wham, bam, thank you ma'am consists of cheese. So while this egg is over hard and it's ready, it's good, it's hot, all you need to do is put a coat of cheese on it. Bam! A coat of cheese is up there. Where's my bowl? Okay. Coat of cheese is up there and depending on, I don't like runny cheese or, don't put your hands in that bowl. I don't like runny cheese and stuff like that and over burnt cheese. The smell of burnt cheese makes me nauseous. So we got that ready. This is good to go because it all, the egg is already hot so it's going to continue to melt. So we'll put that up there. And then what I'll do is take some more pecan, put that up there, put some more up there like that, some bacon, depending on your guests you got to serve, like I said you may want to go easy on that bacon, then we'll take this and put this piece right on top of there, smash it down a little bit, going to pull out the butcher knife, and we're going to cut it. And it depends on how long you want, how you like your toast too. Like, you know, I like mine not sometimes real crunchy. But right here, we have it. Um, we'll spread this apart so you'll be able to get a good look at the wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, no, wham bam alama, I'm sorry. That's the wham bam alama. This is the wham bam thank you, ma'am. Now the wham bam, <clears throat> the wham bam thank you, ma'am, just has bacon, egg, and butter and bread. The wham bam a llama has cheese on it. Bacon, egg, cheese, bread, and butter. That's what it is. Now, I'm not going to make an example of the wham bam, the wham bam a llama hot damn. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to make an We're going to talk about it. We're not going to make an example of it because that's, you can do that. How you do that is with your egg. You can cut up fine onions, bell peppers, whatever you want, and fry it in the egg over hard, hot sauce, whatever your desire is. And then you can uh, take your feet off of this. Then you can, um, you know, put the sandwich together. And that's all the other added ingredients and stuff like that. So that's how you do the wham bam a lama hot damn. You got the wham bam, thank you, ma'am. And then you got the wham bam a lama. Got it? Listen, we're going to do some uh, shrimp and rice, another specialty I make. I'm going to do that probably next week. And so thank you for watching. I hope you can make this sandwich. I hope that you can enjoy it. You gonna say bye-bye? We're saying bye-bye to something else too, aren't we? No. Give me that pappy. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Put it there. Put it there. No more pappy. We say goodbye on the Al River Show. It's done. We're frying the pappy. <laughs> now, good morning. God, that's my admirer. Listen. I prefer the one without cheese because I'm a very funny cheese eater, the Wham Bam Alama. Uh, Pete, that got cheese on it, but the Wham Bam Thank You Ma'am is quick and easy. That's the one I like because I don't like my cheese all melted and running and stuff. I don't like cheese like that. I'm going to bite into this thing. Mmm. All that butter, salt, pepper, cholesterol.